welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. This is my poor con thing, because that's all that was like somewhat clean. Okay, I'm uh, kind of excited about this idea. I got inspired again by Julie Howell. She commented on a video from a long time ago where I made this amazing pillow color with triart iridescent pearl. Now, first of all, by the way, these are gonna be on sale very soon on Fluid Art Company. This is a fluid, how great for us. Um, and it makes any color pearl. And what I did back in the day was I added this to phthalo turquoise and it made the most beautiful color. I'm just thinking if I have any phthalo turquoise ever. It made a really pretty color. But then I said to myself, with the new Holcroft colors that I got that I really like, how pretty would it be to make like a pearl light blue? A pearl light blue or this pearl light lavender, which you can't see. Okay, I'm making it. I'm so excited. I have no idea what I'm doing. By the way, also my two favorite tri art colors, graphite gray. I know you can't see because this lighting's insane. Um, and rose gold. Such a pretty rose gold. So these are all, this is pearlized. This is a little pearlized. But anyways, maybe we're doing all about pearl bases, pearl pillows, pearl pillows. This video is about pearl pillows. I'm so excited. I have no idea. I haven't mixed up any colors. Um, why don't I sit and relax? It's like evening time. I was upstairs like chilling and I just had to mix these. And the reason I have to mix, oh, hello, one moment. The reason I had to mix them now was because I don't want too many bubbles when I want to use them tomorrow tomorrow my friends make fun of me how i say tomorrow by the way okay what have we got i'm gonna mix up those two colors and then also use these two so i'm gonna mix up four colors lisa so i have my four ounce cups i guess i should put um the camera down all right let me put the well no, I'll put the camera down. Okay, so I have my four colors here. Essentially, I'm just making a faux, I'm making a faux pillow um, with all these pretty colors. So, they're all pretty. This one would be the thickest because it's a tube. Um, these are all pretty thin. You know, I don't measure, but we go by the bloop method. But this, I would put a little bit less of a bloop because it's a tube paint. So, Nothing's happening. Don't worry. This looks thin. Okay, this is a Brit. Hmm. Yeah, no. One moment. I'm going to pour the bear into a cup to make it my life a little easier. Okay. It's quite enough in there. So, I'm going to go bloop, 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 bloop. I'll put a little more and bloop. Might as well fill them up. And you notice I put a little bit less in this one because it's going to thicken up. Now, I'm going to close up my bear so it doesn't get too dried out. Let us do the Josanya. Bloop, bloop. Oh, she's done. Bloop. You gotta make those sounds. Bloop. Bloop. Okay. Now, I've never used these before. Can you believe it? I'm excited to check out the consistency of it. And, just, you know, here we go. Oh. Okay, there's no protective thing, so let's squeeze it right out. Oh, there is a protective thing, isn't that funny? What's happening? Okay, <laughs> we'll just do this. Okay, yeah, very, ooh, God, is it? God, I love this. I love this, is because it's very um, silvery pink. 
It's actually not like rose gold, it's called like rose silver. So pretty. So for sure when I'm using faux pillows, I do try to mix the day before because no one likes boob lays with their pillow showing, you know what I mean? Okay, like, hello, beauteous lady, right? Beauteous, okay. Let's do the graphite gray. So the graphite gray is not super sparkly, like maybe I wanna add a little iridescence to it. Let's see. I just, I love these colors because they're not, um, necessarily something you can get in other brands, you know? Like a lot of brands are pretty similar. Ah, see, oh, they fooled me. A lot of brands are pretty similar. Um, that's why I like getting like the special ones, you know? Okay, graphite gray. Oh, it's like a steel, steel, deep steel, you know? Let's see how that goes. Sorry, my phone memory got full, so I have to just delete some things. Um, anywho, here is, it's like gorgeous. I don't know if I'm gonna add, but I guess if it's a pearl pillow video, we should see what happens when I add it, but it's so pretty. Okay, um, oh, hold on, are we centered? Yeah. Next, the beautiful, oh, this is Gala. Now, I don't know if that's how you say it. It's very similar to, which I have over there, the Tranquility. But let's try this one, because I haven't, I used Tranquility in my last pour. Um, so, so you can see these light ones are a bit thicker. I'm really excited to see what happens when we mix them together with the iridescent. Like, yeah, it's gonna be pretty. Okay, then this one is Wit Sundays, which I learned, by the way, is a bunch of um, islands in Australia, or there's Lagoon. Let's go Wit Sunday. Why not, right? Um. Here we go. Oh, I should shake it up a little bit. So these are like very, very fluid. Okay. All right. And then let's add some sparkle to it. Oh, such, I love these colors. Um, these ones, cause they're so thin, it, it does look like a bit of cottage cheese at first. Sorry, I have to delete more videos apparently. We should be good now. Okay, these are the colors. Really pretty, I'm happy with them, but let's see what happens. Um, Where do you think I just put that tri art? Oh, I fell on the floor. <laughs> let's see what happens if I add the iridescent pearl, oh my gosh. So I'm not gonna add it to that because that's already pretty pearly. Um, I am gonna add a dash to the graphite gray. So don't be sad, I don't know when, it's like coming to Fluid Art, like they just have to like, you know, put it on the website and everything. So, pretty pearly. So let us do, I just want a little bit at first. I've never um, mix, mix these two together, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Oops, excuse me, thank you. Mixy mix, mixy mix. Okay, it's getting lighter. Okay, yeah. Really nice gunmetal gray. I'm glad I only put a little bit I don't want it too light or too intense, but it gave it, I don't know if you can see, it gave it a really nice sheen. Okay, let's do Whit Sunday. Whit Sundays. 
think of it that much. I don't know why. Also remember, these are opaque, so they might not get as pearly um, as we're hoping. Where a transparent paint um, wouldn't dull the light as much as this. But it's pretty groovy. It's pretty, oh gosh, yep. I'm happy with her, very dainty, you know what I mean? And I bet that's gonna be really dainty too. Well, I just wanna go and buy three billion of these bottles, to be honest. Uh, so there. I'll tell Billy to get her butt in gear so you guys can go get some. Also very pretty. Uh, this is like, mm, you can't really tell me because it's too light, you can't tell. Um, so probably I like this one the most. I'll put a little bit more, like I don't wanna be rude to her or anything, but I think it's just too light to see the beauteous. I'm gonna show you actually with a dark color so you guys can really see what it does to a regular tube paint. Listen, I'm not complaining, it's very pretty. But just like, mm, you know? So for instance, I believe this looks like an old phthalo turquoise. Come on, oh, you know what? Because it's so sticky. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I think it's my um, other recipe. But oh, look at how thick it is. But look what happens. Hold on, first let me just see what we're working with here. Well, she's definitely gonna need some bear. So you can tell this has been sitting around a long time. So, I mean, she's gonna need some Joe Sonia. Let's thin her out, okay? And then let's add some of the iridescent. So you can see what made me fall in love with her. And then, I have got to think about like, what am I doing with these, you know? Um, am I using them? I guess I said, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm using them as a pillow. So check this out. It lightens up a lot. But then it also, it's like such a metallic gorge. I just lo love it. <laughs> So, let me do a swatch for you. Swatch. I might thin this down if I'm using this as a pillow, although there's like thingies in it, yeah. Um, no, I'm gonna thin it down with some more Josonia. Especially for faux pillows, they don't have to be that thick. Okay. I don't like that this little, things in it but so pretty okay let's do a swatch on something these are all okay here so starting with the rose gold then the graphite gray these colors together are delightful. Then we'll do, I don't wanna drip everywhere, the, whatever I said this was, Gala, which is my least favorite, but these actual colors are really pretty. Then we have the Wit Sunday. Then the, mm, there's really a lot of chunkies in it. We'll see if I use it tomorrow. Uh, phthalo turquoise. Because I don't want to start putting chunkies on my thing. Okay. However, let me just tell you, these three colors together, I'm already liking. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to do a close-up for you in the warm light so you can see what I'm talking about. And then... Uh, I gotta put my thinking cap on to figure out what I'm doing with these colors, but aren't they 
so like, amazing. Okay. Be back soon. Okay, guys, I hate to do this to you, but you're going to have to tune in next week for me to show you everything that I've done. Love you guys. Bye.